I wanted to change the scenery. I spent about five years in Central America, and uh, you know, I'd been doing sort of a, a gritty social drama about kids crossing Mexico, Mexico on freight trains. And um, while promoting that film in Europe, I just kind of thought, why don't I hang out here for a while? And I'd always wanted to do a period film. And so when I found out the BBC had Jane Eyre, I sought it out. I think the traditional route, in the sense that the, the novel was written chronologically, from Jane being uh, orphaned at her aunt's house up to, you know, obviously the end and whatever happens with her in relationship with uh, Rochester. Um, that version of telling the story is, is, is nice and valid, but I think telling it in a nonlinear fashion allowed us to be a bit more faithful to the novel within the, the two hour frame rate, or sorry, the two hour sort of context. And, um, of a feature film and um, allowed us to tell a third, the third act of the story, which is really this this time when she's sort of uh, being sheltered by this missionary family. So we use that as sort of the the structure from which we would bounce back in time to tell the rest of her story. And I think it, it was both uh, it allowed for a lot more mystery and allowed for uh, a bit more sort of um, even for people who know the novel a bit more of a like uh, they, they couldn't guess necessarily what we were going to do at the end of the, of the film, because people oftentimes change things. And um, it, it allows us to, to introduce a lot of characters that are oftentimes glossed over in film versions. Some people wonder uh, uh, whether the ending is supposed to be like, optimistic or pessimistic. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I mean, I, I know what I think it is. I, I didn't actually plan to be ambiguous, but I'm surprised by, pe by people's response, because the book ends in a sort of iconic phrase. It's um, Charlotte Wright's Reader, I Married Him. And sort of addresses the audience and summarizes what happens to her in Rochester the rest, the rest of the ten years after that, and um, I think um, there's no sort of like in my opinion a cinema cinematic version of that. So I ended my way, and I wanted to end it small and quiet. So hopefully people like that. You. you know, I just I didn't I wanted to do the anti period romance ending. Like if it would have been you know a sweeping crane move and swelling you know orchestral music, you know I, I think it just wouldn't have been my movie. So I just push in and just lock off and hope it works.